King Tut's tomb, treasure trove, or death trap? Did a mummy's curse really unleash ancient fury? Greetings, history hunters. Welcome to Searching History, where we unearth the truth buried beneath myths and legends. Tonight, we dive into the gilded sands of Egypt itself, chasing the whispers of a pharaoh's wrath, the so-called Curse of King Tut. For decades, tales of ancient vengeance have haunted these treasures. Sudden deaths, whispers of misfortune, a tomb dubbed a death trap. But is this merely Hollywood's macabre brushstroke, or does a curse truly lurk within the shadows? Join us as we peel back the layers of sand and superstition. We'll dissect the facts, unmask the truth, and see if King Tut's legacy is truly one of terror, or something far more intriguing. Prepare yourselves, explorers, for tonight we delve into the Tomb of Mystery and unveil the legend's final resting place. Let's rewind to 1922, a time when Egypt's sands held untold mysteries. Imagine the sun beating down on archaeologist Howard Carter as he sifted through debris, years of tireless searching culminating in a single step down into the darkness. He'd found it, the untouched tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, a glittering oasis amidst the dunes. Inside, a treasure trove unlike any other unfolded. Gilded chariots gleamed, alabaster vessels shimmered, and the iconic golden mask stared with vacant eyes. It was a glimpse into a lost civilization, a portal to a bygone era, and the media went wild. News of the discovery splashed across headlines, igniting a global fascination. But amidst the fanfare, a chilling whisper arose. Stories of sudden deaths, of misfortune plaguing those who dared disturb the pharaoh's slumber. The curse of King Tut was born its venomous tendrils creeping into the public imagination. Was this mere coincidence or something more sinister at play? That, my friends, is the question we shall answer. Buckle up, history detectives, because we're about to separate fact from fiction and explore the chilling legend that cast a shadow over one of history's most awe-inspiring discoveries. The truth awaits buried beneath the golden sands and it may surprise you. The most infamous victim of the curse was Lord Carnarvon, the financier backing Carter's expedition. Five months after entering the tomb, he succumbed to pneumonia. Newspapers blared, public panic soared. Was this proof of the Pharaoh's wrath? But let's pause for a reality check. Carnarvon was older, in poor health, and mosquito bites on his face likely led to infection. Others associated with the curse died of unrelated causes, which include George J. Gould, an American financier that succumbed to pneumonia just five months after visiting the tomb in 1923. While pneumonia in those days was a serious and often fatal illness, it's important to point out that Gould had a pre-existing history of respiratory issues and was already in delicate health before his trip to Egypt. And then we have Arthur Mace, an archaeologist and museum curator that died in 1928, five years after entering the tomb. While some attribute his death to arsenic poisoning, the evidence is inconclusive. Some sources suggest accidental ingestion of the preservative used on artifacts, while others point to potential medical conditions. To be fair, Mace suffered from chronic gastritis, further complicating the diagnosis. Again, solely blaming the curse disregards these possibilities and risks, perpetuating a misleading narrative. Several other individuals connected to the excavation faced misfortune in the years following, leading to their inclusion in the curse narrative. However, a closer look reveals coincidences and unrelated causes. Architect Arthur Lucas suffered from diabetes and died years after the excavation. Radiologist Sir Archibald Douglas Reed, who x-rayed the mummy, did contract sepsis, but it was likely due to a pre-existing infection, not the tomb. It's easy to fall for sensational headlines to let fear color our understanding. Yet responsible exploration demands examining the facts, not simply succumbing to sensationalism. While tragedy did strike, 
Attributing each death to an ancient curse is a disservice to historical accuracy. Remember, history isn't just about myths and legends. It's about understanding the context, the human stories behind the headlines. As we delve deeper, we'll see how fear, superstition, and perhaps a dash of journalistic embellishment fueled the narrative of the curse. But beneath the sensational noise lies a more compelling truth, one waiting to be unearthed. Beyond the whispers of vengeance, science offers its own explanation for the tragedies linked to the tomb. Consider the humble mosquito, buzzing carrier of ancient diseases, the tomb, sealed for millennia, likely harbored dormant pathogens waiting for an unsuspecting host. You bite, an infection and suddenly tragedy unfolds. And let's not forget the tomb itself. Imagine dusty shafts, precarious passageways, and years of accumulated debris. An unexpected slip, a falling object, and disaster could strike in the blink of an eye. The very act of exploring these ancient chambers held inherent risks, far beyond any supernatural wrath. Furthermore, many individuals involved in the excavation were already grappling with health issues. Travel, stress, and the demanding nature of the work could exacerbate existing conditions, leading to unfortunate consequences. Attributing such events solely to a curse neglects the complex interplay of factors at play. Ancient Egyptian curses, with their elaborate rituals and fearsome pronouncements, were often symbolic warnings against disturbing sacred spaces. They weren't pronouncements of instant death, but deterrence meant to protect the sanctity of the deceased. In reality, attributing every tragedy to a vengeful mummy disrespects both the ancient culture and the individuals involved. Let's consider the power of the mind and the intense media coverage, coupled with the public's fascination with the macabre, could have triggered a subconscious fear in those associated with the tomb. This placebo effect, where psychological expectations influence physical well-being, might have played a role in amplifying the perception of the curse. Beyond whispers of vengeance, Science offers explanations, mosquito-borne illness, tomb hazards, underlying conditions, and even suggestion fueled by media frenzy. While the curse makes for thrilling tales, attributing every misfortune to the supernatural disrespects the truth. Next, we untangle the real reasons behind these myths, exploring how fear and fascination shape our understanding of history. Let's be honest, sensationalism sells newspapers. Back in 1922, the media landscape was hungry for thrills, and the discovery of King Tut's tomb was a gold mine. Every cough, every misfortune was spun into a tale of vengeful mummies. Headlines screamed of curses, fear-mongering filled the airwaves, and the public devoured it all. But amidst the frenzy, did anyone stop to consider the historical context? Egypt had long captivated Western imaginations, shrouded in mystery and romanticized as a land of ancient magic. When faced with something as awe-inspiring and unknown as Tut's tomb, fear easily intertwined with fascination. Yet we owe it to history, to ourselves, to approach such narratives with a critical eye, blindly accepting sensationalized accounts undermines the incredible work of archaeologists who painstakingly piece together the past based on facts, not folklore. Skepticism isn't cynicism. It's a vital tool for sifting truth from fiction, ensuring we don't let fear and fascination obscure the historical reality. The curse of King Tut serves as a potent reminder of how easily myths can take root. But with every layer we peel back, we uncover a more nuanced, fascinating story. This isn't about debunking the thrill of a good ghost story. It's about celebrating the true wonder of discovery, the intellectual pursuit of understanding the past in all its complexity. While the curse of King Tut may captivate imaginations, Let's not forget the true treasure unearthed, a window into a forgotten civilization. King Tut's tomb wasn't a death trap. It was a time capsule, revealing details of daily life, religious beliefs, 
and artistic mastery unlike anything seen before. Thanks to this discovery, Egyptology flourished. We learned about mummification rituals, deciphered hieroglyphs, and pieced together fragments of a culture millennia old. This wasn't just about gold and jewels, it was about understanding humanity's journey, connecting across the vast gulf of time. So my fellow history hunters, let's move beyond the chilling whispers and embrace the true wonder of ancient Egypt. There are countless stories to unearth, Fascinating mummies not shrouded in curses, but in the secrets of their time. Dive into the pyramids, decipher forgotten scripts, and unravel the mysteries that still whisper from the sands. And remember, the past is full of captivating tales waiting to be explored. Don't let myths and sensationalism overshadow the true magic of history. Instead, join the quest for knowledge, the thrill of discovery, and together, Let's rewrite the narratives, one debunked myth at a time. Keep digging, keep questioning, and join us on Searching History as we unveil the secrets buried beneath myths and legends. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, because the next adventure into the past awaits.